for your interest in our Introduction to Microsoft List class. This video serves as a, for the purpose of introducing you to the topic and so that you can see if this is a course that may interest you. Very briefly, I'd like to cover a few of the topics that we'll be covering in this class to make sure that you have all the knowledge you need to make the decision on whether this is the right course for you. This is an introductory level course, so it's covering the basics, assuming that you have no experience with Microsoft List prior to this class. We're going to start the class talking about the use case for Microsoft List and when it makes sense to choose lists over other tools. There's lots of different data collection tools like Excel and SharePoint lists and other things that you have with inside of Microsoft's ecosystem. So this class is going to start by talking about when you should use lists over those other technologies, which is a big question that many people have. We're then going to get more into the hands-on how-to aspects of the class where we're going to walk you through how do you create lists. We're going to show you three different ways to create lists from a template, from an Excel file, and then just from scratch. And then we'll walk you through how to add data to a list, either through the standard form or even through the edit data view, the grid view that is available as well. We'll walk you through how to build your own custom views, so how you can have a view that can very easily display data in just the format that you want to see it in. And then we'll talk about list collaboration. So list collaboration is the idea of how to share a list with others. And then once you've shared it with them, how do you then collaborate via the comments capability built in? Now that covers all the basic knowledge that you need to have with inside of Microsoft List, but following that, we will then also talk about Microsoft Teams integration. And so how do you take, in, with inside of Teams, how do you create a list there? How do you display maybe a list that you've created previously inside of Teams? We will, you know, the nice thing about it is we'll be able to show you how all of the knowledge that you have previously learned in the class will still apply once you get into Teams. There's nothing really new in Teams, it's just showing you lists that you've created in a different way. We'll wrap up the class with a mobile app. And so we want to be able to teach you how to use your mobile device to be able to see and interact with lists. There is a native Microsoft List app that you can download, and we'll kind of walk you through how to interact with and use that. That's really it for this course. We, of course, are excited to be able to show you what's possible with inside of Microsoft List. And so this course really focuses in on those core capabilities, uh, that what, what the main things you have to know to be able to get started with lists. We hope you enjoy this one, and we look forward to teaching you more about Microsoft List. Thanks a lot.